Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I want to share with you three journal covers. I'm making all three out of a paper bag, okay? And I want to show you what I did. I put the paper bag, I got it all straightened out on the edges. Then I went here and all the sides, because I didn't know what I was doing yet. And I put gold paint around them. And then I cut this out and put it there. And I cut this out and put it there. Okay. And it's 12 by 12 nose sheet cardstock. And this. And this is where I particularly, literally, <laughs> particularly want to show you. This is where I got the cardstock. Okay. Park Lane Planning Planner Girl. And I got it okay, at Joanne's. From, but I wanted to show you because I know a lot of new crafters just buy what's on clearance, what looks good. But this piece was this big. Okay. And normally they won't fit. Okay. They won't fit on a box unless it's a special size box. So what I did, as you can see, is I trimmed the top off, and I trimmed the bottom, and I trimmed the sides, okay? That's what I did. And it fits on there beautiful, beautifully from the paper bag, because you can make the shape of the paper bag any size you want, okay? So I wanted to show that to you. So if you have a word and you don't know what to do with it, because you think it's too big, okay? That's all I did. Top, bottom, sides, cut them off. And then, after I did that, I measured it to the same, to this. I put this on top of it, marked it with a pencil, and cut it out the same, so they're the same sizes. Okay? And here, I have a different cardstock from a different book, because I didn't really care for anything else in this book, and I got three of these. Because I got them, they were all, I think, 10 bucks, and I got them for $4.97 on clearance, so I got three of these. So I was thinking, I sh I'm gonna, I might make three of the, a whole bunch of these, as many as I got. For some of the granddaughters, I'm thinking the older ones. I don't know yet. But this card stock came out of that book, too. And I want to use this, and then I want to show you before I forget. And this piece that was cut off. Here, okay, and that's going right here. And as you can see, I'll show you, this is sticking out, so I want the pocket to be. This, it's the same because I cut it. I told you I cut them both the same. So that's going to go right up against that like that, and I'm going to glue it. There's my paper. I'm gonna glue it this piece of scrap and this piece of scrap together and then I'm gonna glue it on there and then I'm gonna cut it down to fit over here because it matches okay whoop oh, it's upside down this is going over here because it matches this and then this is from the book this is going over here because it matches this Things. I'm just going to make two side pockets for those two. Okay. I want to keep everything in order and keep showing. Oh, I didn't show you that part. Hold on. There's a lot of things to show you. Alright, so this is from this book. This cardstock right here, the green, is from Bloom Fetty. Okay, and it's from Recollections. Right? And that's what I'm going to be using on the next two. But I stole one piece of cardstock out of that for this. Okay. So let's move on. Right now I have, I might as well show you the book first, huh? I have this again. And I chose this for pockets. I chose this for pockets. And I have one more. And I chose this for pockets out of this book, Bloom Fetty Recollections, okay? And they're all, all the papers I'm using are 12 by 12 inch, okay? So these three are for the next two. And what I used out of it, okay? 
this one goes on the bottom, so I want to put that with that one. So with this one, I took the leftover piece of the paper bag after I made one of one of the journal covers, and all I did was go around it with paint, three different paints that I thought that would match this, and the colors out here. Okay. Then I took this piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, cut it in half, and placed it. And I did go around the, around the edges, and I forgot to tell you on the other one. I did go around the edges on those ones I placed in there too. I just went around it with gold so it would blend in nicely. And then of course the different colors. I did the sides in the middle with the different colors. Here I just did the gold down because I'm going to cover that up with a piece of lace or fabric. I don't know yet. And then I did it just on the sides with the paint and then different colors that matched here. But I'm going to show you that piece of paper. Here it is. So if you don't know what to do with them either, because it's just like the word one, it's too big and it needs, you, you can use this for a pocket file or a, a paper in your journal and just flip it in half. But I wanted to show you also, you can use it for a journal cover, okay? That's all I did. I cut down straight down the middle. I put orange paint around it, made sure they were the same size because I had to cut them down a little bit, I think. I did it. I did. I had to cut a little bit off, just a little bit, to put them in there. So this was still going around. Okay. And I put them both down. Okay. Yeah. Not to mention that. I did go around this one with paint. Okay. And I did go around this one with paint. This one's got green paint. Okay. That's all I did there. And then the same thing. And I. I basically put them all together to make sure they're the same size, then I glued them in after I cut them the size I wanted, okay? And this is the front right here of the journal. So we got those out of the way. And I'm going to use these for the inside pockets, both of them. I'm going to do my envelope, and here's my envelope here. All I'm going to do with these is I'm going to take the envelope and I'm going to cut from here because I want a nice big corner pocket and I'm going to cut all the way up with my trimmer. Okay, so you might as well do that right now. show you if you don't just use a ruler or eyeball it it's not that hard beautiful beans if it was hard you wouldn't be here it's easy just don't talk yourself out of it and just do it <laughs> that's how I had to do it I had to just do it or I would talk myself out of it I don't think about it I don't talk to myself about doing something I just do it nine times out of ten I will just talk myself out of it, so what's the point of thinking or talking to myself out of it? Unless it's bad, you know, then, you know, reconsider that, but I'm just saying, there's something that you want to do. You, I think you understand what I'm saying. These will probably be two different sizes. They are, because of the way the shape the envelope was. So I think I want the smaller pocket up here and that's how that's gonna look for the inside and I'll just glue this this is just envelope glued together if you're not familiar with my channel you can take your envelopes and glue them together do I have a solid one I can show you like here here's an envelope all you do is lay it down you put my flag in it glue it together and then boom you got a foundation for a pocket, any shape you want, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a piece of cardstock and I'll just turn it upside down and I'm gonna glue it here. I'm not gonna show you because you don't need to see me watch me glue. And I'm gonna mod bodge it onto this paper, piece of paper and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Sorry, beautiful beings. My beautiful camera beings. don't seem to like white. It doesn't focus no, very good with white. Last one, I'm gonna put that in there and then we're gonna do something different on the front. This 
this one. I'm gonna, I don't even know why I put those in there. <laughs> I'm gonna, this one, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna put, use, cut this like right here. And this is gonna be a pocket. Okay, so this will be covered, but I'll watch the fold, make sure it's not on a fold. But I have to glue this on to something more sturdier, so I'll probably get some more of the bag when we get to it. But this is gonna be a tuck pocket, and I'll probably take the half punch and put it there. And then I will choose one of these, and I'm just gonna make a belly band with this one. One of these. I'm gonna figure out which one matches. Which one matches better? It's upside down. What do we got? Oh, and I have to make one for the back, too. This one. And I think I had a piece of paper for this. Yes, I did. Yes. But we'll figure it out. we got three to choose from because those corner pockets for the other journal cover aren't going to take it all up. Okay? So let's get started, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. This is the plan. I'm going to paint this envelope, pure gold. But I'm not going to do that until I figure out how big I want this. I have this doily. All right, see so this part right here? That's where the doily is going to go. So I'm putting it where I want it. But I want to leave some of this showing through the doily, the flowers, of course. I'm going to move this here. So I've got that where I want it. I got it there, right on that line. And right there on that line and I'm gonna cut that straight up okay. if it's easier you can fold it and mark it just line it up and then just go like that and then cut it okay then after I paint the envelope, I'm going to leave this white, I think. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to glue this to the envelope. But I kind of, I want to leave this so the flowers show. See how the flowers show through? I mean, barely, but maybe I'll cut it down below. Definitely. Okay, let me get where I want it. Like this. I don't think that would be a problem tucking. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, with these ones, with these circle of flowers right here. Okay, see that row of flowers? I think that's what I'm gonna do. And these doilies are from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to put this against the envelope like this. Line it up and I'm just going to softly mark. Let me check it one more time. Let me check it one more time. Yeah, I want it equal to those. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put it against the envelope like this. And I'm going to put a line in between the doily and mark those spots. Okay. Then I'm going to have to find something. I think I can cut it out. I don't think I have to find anything. So let's do that. Let's follow that along that. Let's make a curve. Along the dots. And that's pretty good. <laughs> if I do say so myself. And then we will glue this to this. That and I'll stick out like that in some spots, okay? But I want to cover, color this gold and I want to do the other side too. So we're going to flip this over. So this is this one might be a little bigger. I don't know if they're the same size. 
size or not. I cut it in half, so there probably should be, yeah. And this is just the envelope glued shut, okay? All I'm gonna do is take the one I just did, and I'm gonna put it here, like this. And that looks perfect, okay? So remember, the envelope is smaller and the see-through is on the top. And I don't think, we could even paint on the bottom of this with glue to make that stiffer, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the one with the writing. I'm just using the white paint to cover up the words before I paint it gold. Then I decided I might add a little color, so it's up to you beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. I went to my friend, my neighbors, and I got hairspray. I sprayed this to make it thicker. I just sprayed up here. It did not work. I used Mod Bodge. It stuck to stuff. I even set one right here. And then I put paint on it. This one has paint, so the paint will work. Now I'm getting paint on me. Okay, I painted both sides just where it's gonna be sticking out and it ripped here, but I can glue that. Okay, so paint worked. Modge Bodge, it rips. So if you can think you can do it without, you know, <laughs> ripping it, go for it. I have this one. This one, this one's a hairspray one. This one, I put paint on this side. Okay. And then on this side, see that? I put glue in there. I put Elena's glue in there. And that's the best outcome I have. Okay. So I'm just going to show you real quick how I did that. Because the Modge Bodge, I don't know. You can get the spray Modge Bodge or something like that. Fabric stiffener. And I have no idea how much it costs. They used, I think I got a can of fabric stiffener or something. Or spray adhesive at Dollar Tree one time. But that can ran out a long time ago. So if you can find that. I know it works because I used it before, and I don't even think I noticed it or even paid attention when I was in Dollar Tree. But yeah. So the next time I go, I'm gonna find some of that. See if I have it. Because it did work. I used, I don't remember what I used it on, but it did work. Because I wanted to stiffen up something. I don't know if it was cardstock, fabric. I don't remember the so that's all I'm gonna do and I basically just want this stuff in but you want it to get in those little lines you can the little lines going down just to stiffen it that should help okay. this is glossy paper I'm using I'm just moving it over so I can continue so I ended up using Elena's glue on both sides of the doily and I got the stiffness I wanted. This one, see this is flimsy, this is nice and thick now. So you know what? This one's dry, so let's just glue this down to that. If you want a smoother glue down, I'd use my Bodge. I don't mind, this is, see. It leaves the, it shows the glue where you put it because it's not thin, it's thicker than Mod Podge. So if you don't like that look, I would use Mod Podge. I might flip this over. Let me put it on here. I'm going to have a whole video about doing this. I'm going to have to fast forward it, beautiful things. I'm going to have a whole video of how to make this pocket. <laughs> Now I'm using art glitter glue for the little bits that I need to glue down. And when the other one's dry, I'll do the other one and I'll be back, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm working on this one and I'm choosing white, whoops, eyelids, eyes, whatever you want to call them, put in here. Okay, I want to see how far this goes in now. Here and go right in the middle. I'm gonna make sure they're in together. 
So I'm gonna slide that in. And it looks like it's gonna be up to there, but that's fine. me and I, that's what I was worried about it <laughs> punching it worked I got it so there's our holes this one's I don't know they must not have been lined up right but that's fine and we're gonna take our, 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 our I can't talk beautiful things I cannot talk no I wanted to wait All right, let's get the those out of the way so we don't lose them we're gonna take our cricket I need that. No, nope, that one's too small. See, that one's tiny. And that one's bigger. These are a bigger eyelid. And I don't know what size they are. And it's small. And I got that. So I'm using that one. And that one's like medium. And I'm going to use that one and that one. And I'm going to put this part in on the top of this. And that one smashes down the back. This part. Okay. That in there. This was it. Voila. Not very attractive, but it works. I think it's the eyelids. I think I got junk ones, but it's okay. They work for my purpose. Smash down that one. And we're done with that. Part. Make sure I got it going the right way. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you these. See this? pocket is going to go here so that's going to cover that one and this pocket is going to go up here and it does not cover that one I just wanted to point that out okay and I have this lace from Dollar Tree well not lace ribbon from Dollar Tree I figured this would be perfect because as you can see it looks the same on both sides Basically, this side might be sticking out a little bit, but I don't think there's much difference. So that's why I like this ribbon. Because I don't use ribbon that much for this because one side will be blank. And I don't like that look. Okay, so we're going to put some in here. Here. I wonder if I put this one on the top. That won't interfere. Put this one on the bottom. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do them the opposite way. Okay. Just so you know the plan for that. Okay. Before you make anything permanent, I'll tie a knot. I'm gonna try it all the way to the end, which did not work out, but it's fine. It's not going anywhere, it's not gonna go through there. I should have measured them before I did that, but that's okay. And I'm going to cut that just about there. And if you have a lighter, you can do that on the end so it doesn't fray. Okay. I'm not going to do that because the kids are watching. <laughs> the kids, if you do that, have, that, even if you're a teenager, please have your parents do it. They'll supervise you. If you're a teenager, how do you do it? Okay. Right, this one. On this one. Tie another knot. I'm trying to get it down. Here, this time I'm going to help it push it with my fingers. So we can trim that off. Like that. See, that needs ink on it. doesn't have to stay like that. And I'm going to do it pull this up. And seeing I forgot to measure, I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to trim that off. Of course, these aren't my fabric scissors either. Okay. This was nine feet floral garden from Dollar Tree. Okay, I haven't seen it. Mine, I got all the colors. There was pink and like I don't have a pink, but I have this. It's kind of an orange, dark orange. 
that goes with the other journal. So I grab that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I think I might which one's bigger? This one. So we're we'll putting them like this, but I might I might sew them in and I might stitch around them. I'll stitch this first and then I'll stick that here and just sew it because all it's going to do is show right here and then it'll be wrapped around here when I sew it. So I think we're good there. Then on this side, sew this in. It'll just stitch around the bottom and then up to there and I don't think it'll affect anything. Okay. And then I want to show you these. All right, this, get this out of the way. This is a piece envelope I cut out of the envelope to make these. All right, and that's how I got this out of the first envelope. And then I just wanted to remind you, go down as much as you can. You go up and you can make a corner pocket. Or if you can come up with a different shape, make a different shape pocket. That's what I did. Okay. So I know I got four extra corner pockets for something else, which I'll probably use on the leftover scrap from the cardstock we're using. But I wanted to show you this. You're gonna have to take some baby powder so this don't stick and go like this. Because that's where I put the glue, the Elena's glue. And it's nice and stiff now and out they go rip and I love it and I'm glad I got the Elena's just go around like this with the baby powder or talcum powder and I'll make it so the glue does not stick or stay tacky that way if when you store them make sure you store them in a cool dry place but that because if they get in heat whatever glue you use and if you use baby baby powder or talcum powder they could stick if it's really, really hot. I'm just warning you, beautiful beings. So, precaution, precaution on that. Found something that worked. The Elena worked. But I also wanted to show you. And you can do that with your paint. Like, see how I put the paint along the side? Just put it along that too. I'll end up doing all these. I just wanted to point that out before I forget. Do that, and I'm going to be using these flowers. So I will be doing that to the flowers. It doesn't even make, you can't even see it when you put it on your beautiful beans. It just makes it so nothing sticks together. Okay? That's all it does. So nothing sticks. I'm going to put it in there too because there's lots of blue on there. Okay? Alright, now that I've mentioned that, so I didn't forget. This one, I just glued here. This one, I glued all the way up, okay? But you can see the difference. This one isn't glued down, and this one is. So whatever look you like, okay? And I'm probably gonna just sew this to here, right along here. And then we'll just have a sew mark right in there. So if you can visualize it, I do it. Just have a sew line there and it'll look fine. I just think the sewing gives it more of a handmade look. You do not have to sew it. Okay? And then sew this one here. Just right down here. That way they have a pocket right there. I might put a little glue. I usually do that after I sew it so I know how much. Plus the glue don't stick to my needle because I'm not patient enough to let it dry. <laughs> okay, so when I get this one put together, I will show you. Let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to work on this journal cover. I chose this ribbon. Green, because I want the green. I know it's an aqua green, but I think it matches good enough and we're using that. And that's what that color it looks exactly the same because some ribbons you buy they have like a 
plain white color or dark color or whatever on the other side or they have no color at all okay that's why I like ribbon it both sides are showing so keep that in mind and you're buying the ribbon this is I can't punch a hole here I mean I can but I don't want to and I wanted to show you this I went through the cardstock where this paper came from, these two, okay. and I could not find anything that matched these leaves, and I want that, I want that match, okay, see the hearts, if I would have used the hearts, if they, they, it's not the same color, there's like, I don't know, I just don't like it, okay, and there's cards in here I'll be using, I'll be sticking in these journals, because they go with it, of course, and I get a lot, And then there's more and there's big ones. You can make pockets out of these. We'll just glue them. Okay. There's those ones. I get the shadow. Okay. But I couldn't find anything for that. So I'm just gonna and this is this is a tab off of a pizza box. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to glue that right down there, but I have to cut it. As you can see, I marked it. Make it fit. Please. I'll show you. It does not fit. I'm going to put it up here. And as you can see, it's too big. Okay. So I marked it to cut it off. So we're going to... And it kind of leans in. So I'm going to go past where I mark it. Hoping it still fits. I don't know if it will or not, but tilt it a little bit. About even. Yes. So it fits and it fits now. Okay. So I'm just gonna glue this cardstock onto that. And this is like really flimsy cardstock. It's not as thick as this. It's like paper, maybe a tiny, tiny bit thicker than copy paper. But I'm going to glue that under there. And with this, this is what we're going to do. I have a piece of the bag I have left over. I'm going to take some ribbon. Let's see how long I want it. This time I am. I'm going to glue that there. Right here. And then I want it pretty a lot of it so maybe that's good so I'm gonna take it and go like this so it's even and cut it and then we're gonna take Lana's glue I gotta mark this so this is what we're gonna do to make sure it's even move that out of the way I'm gonna put glue like that looks like the middle good enough for me Okay, I'm going to put the glue there, and then I'm going to go like this. That way I know it's even, okay? Easy peasy trick. I'm trying to get the glue up. The glue on. My pins me again. She went home with her dad. Dad picked her up. And she was on the floor and she... For like three hours where I was doing stuff, talking to her and she was on the floor and she was like talking and everything and rolling over and then she'd get mad because she, she'd get her arm out or she didn't get her arm out so I'd put her back on her back. So she had her exercise today. She did, she did. Okay, let's get that. Now I'm going to cut that there. I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to stick that right there. And I'm going to take this side and stick it right there. Okay. I'm going to do that one more time to make sure it's even. They're off just a little bit. Okay, I'm just going down. All right. Easy peasy. And then. 
there. I'm going to take this piece of scrap, paper bag, left over from the bag. And we're just going to put that over that. Like this. And that one over here. I want the long piece on that side. No, I think I want it on this side. I just don't want nothing to catch on it when they tuck. The lane of bulbs up, so I don't know. I just want it flat, so I'm going to put this on it. So I'm gonna, I know it's nice and flat, and I'm really going to pay attention to those corners. Now i got to wait for those to completely dry, and then this is going on. Here. And this one is going over here. Like that, but it's going to be sticking up above, as you can see, past that. So I have to think of something to put on that. So I'll think of that. Let's join and show you. That's where those are going. And on back. That matches that green. I think it does. Okay. And that's where this is going with that on top of it. Okay. I'm running out of room to put stuff. <laughs> Alright, but I'm glad I remembered this thing. Side tuck is going here. But this is up here where it's going to be hanging over the top. I don't want to mark it because I don't. I'm trying to find the middle here. Let's do that. There's a little tiny mark right there. And hopefully this punches this. Right, what side did I want to do? This side. Okay. I'm gonna use my circle puncher to punch just a loop in there, but I went up way too far, beautiful beans. So don't go up so as far as I do because it doesn't really look all right, but it's gonna have to do because I'm not making another pocket. With the paint. Get that out of there. Sorry if I'm going all over the place. Just rewind. I'm just trying to cover everything. This one is getting the flowers. But I want something behind them. Lace or something, because I think they look too plain. I'm not sure which way I'm going to put them. But this, I picked this flower because, see the green in there? It matches this. And of course, this matches that. That's my decision making. <laughs> and I'll pray. I can't sew that. So I'm going to have to glue it because of that. I don't want to mark that up. So I'm thinking. I'm just going to glue that. And I want something on the back. On this. I don't know, something. Maybe even just a strip of lace going down the middle. Because it doesn't look completed like that. Okay. This is going to look like that. And that will go over and they'll both cover where we glued down the ribbon. Okay. But I'm going to get this out of the way because I do not want to get paint on it. So I'll set that aside. For my new viewers, I love working with paint. I just think it makes everything look finished. Okay. Take this paint and we're just going to fill that in. And we cut it out. And then put it where it came off. Okay. I'm going to put that aside to dry. And I'll wash my finger. Okay, beautiful beings. This is the belly band. It's going to go here. Okay, it's this one, the front. 
And this is gonna go over here, but I wanna cut another punch out. So we're gonna do that. And this one I don't have to worry. Just, oh, that went in there way better than the other one did. I'm going to come in with the scissors and hopefully not mess this up. I messed it up already. And again, Look beautiful beings, I went in too far with the circle puncher. I should have went in just a little bit. But I think I went in too much. It's alright. It'll work. I think there's more on this side. What do you think? This does not look right. Alright, so... Let's make it longer. We'll just do it by hand. So if you don't have a puncher, there you go. Just trying to make a circle. A circle. Oh, that is not good. And there you go. Let's see. Get all this stuff off here. It's going to have to do. I went in way too far with the puncher, beautiful beings. That's why it doesn't look right. I want to show you. See, this cardboard was way thicker than that cardboard. But this cardboard is a lot stronger than this because this is corrugated like loosely and this is cor correlated tightly, so maybe that's the difference. Alright, I'm going to set that aside and dry. Back to this. Like I said, that's going to be a belly band there. Move this out of the way. Oh, I went around it with paint. Yellow paint to make the yellow flowers pop. Okay, again. Sunny day. <laughs> I keep getting to tell you the name of the paints, but that's all I've been using. is sunny day and deep purple. Those are the only two paints I really used. Except for the green, I used the green for that one. Okay, this, I don't know if it'll punch, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try. I'm gonna put that in there, in the middle. Yeah, it's not gonna work, but I did leave a mark, and I did leave a mark. So, or even. This one, we use this from Dollar Tree. Okay. I'm going to use purple. We already used purple. I'm going to use this color. We're using the orange. Okay. So I'm going to just, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, beautiful beings. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm leaving the crocodile in the same setting because it's the same size pilot I used before. Put that in there. Squeeze. That looks like. I think that matches beautifully. So front is front. And then this won't even interfere with that because it's way over here. Um, I have something for the back. Right here. Maybe. I don't know. I was thinking about this. I gotta pick. I already have this. I don't know, but I'm going to use this. All right, see the front flowers? I chose this because it goes with it. I chose this because, I don't know, the purple is the same. And there are some flowers, some are just lighter than others. Okay, 
but I'm gonna put this on the back and I'm going to glue it to this and I took there's glue on these that's why it looks like that I took the glue off this is a flap from the top of the Cheez-Its box okay and I'm gonna glue that onto here so I can put it here I'll have it here or up here and then our corner pockets that we get had left over I think I want the biggest one I'm gonna take one of them and I'm going to not this cardstock. Need this cardstock? This one that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, see this cardstock right there. I'm going to glue this to that. Okay. So we'll have a pocket. Either I'll put it on the bottom and put this on the top like that. Or I'll put this down here and put this up the top. I haven't decided yet. Because it looks good both ways. I get a shadow. Okay, so I'm using leftover cardstock to do that. And I covered everything, so I'm going to glue, sew, and I'll be back, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, our three paper bag journal covers are all done. I just want to show you what they look like with a pocket file sewed in and this will fit more than one there's plenty of room two or even maybe three just put them inside each other and put them in there that's what that would look like okay. this one Just to give you an idea, what they look like with a pocket file in it. Okay. This one fit two or three. And then this one. Okay. But of course, this one, the pocket file, would have to be wider because <laughs> that looks kind of funny. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give you a close-up of all of them. And I did put the cards that went with the pocket file, with the card stock I used on the pocket, on the journals. Talk. Okay, so I put some cards in so you can see what that would look like. This one I screwed up. Remember I was going to put one here and here? Well, I totally forgot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention when I was sewing and I sewed them both on the top. So I just added a bottom pocket that matched this right there, okay? That's what it looks like all the way open and I put a little butterfly here. And then our doily pocket on the back. So I'm going to give you a close up. That's what it looks like sewed the bottom. Give me a close up of everything. And then I use this lace, okay, that lace is right here, I got it, I don't know where I got it, <laughs> I don't know who uses those stickers, but this is very old, I got it a long time ago, okay, that's what it looks like, lace, and I just folded it over, sorry. And I just folded it over and made sure the holes were right on the binding of the journal. And I put some on that side. And then I stitch what it looks like. It's just up where I sewed the metal pockets in. Back to the lace again. There's the front. And then where I sewed around the inner pocket. To sew it in. Okay. I think they turned out very well. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. And a butterfly. I went around it with marker, an orange marker. 
in that pocket there. And that butterfly. This butterfly is off a card. I cut it out. It was on the front of a card. I got from Dollar Tree. They came, I think, with 10 of them. You know, the cards you can buy all together. You get like 10 or 8 of them. And that's where that butterfly came from. And the stitching. Stitch all the way around. And I got in an argument with my sewing machine. And I think that's why I forgot to put that on the bottom. Because I had to keep fixing my sewing machine. It was just being a pain in the butt. And then a ribbon. Okay. And if you don't like these, you can just do it the other way that I did. Like in this one. Where you just put a pocket over it. So you don't see them. Okay. If you don't like that look. Okay. Give it a close up to this one. And this one says, Beautiful girl, you can do amazing things. And then a heart. Okay. And then I just took place and put it here. Made sure it was see through. And then I just wrapped a little bit right here. So you could still be the see the B and the D, which you can't really see. <laughs> But it's there. <laughs> Not much room to work with because it's so wide. And then I told you I went around this with yellow. And then there's our other butterfly I put there because I thought it matched the pink. Okay. It's inside. And I just put more cards that came with the cardstock. And then here. Of course, you know, I went around that with green and then I put lace behind it down the middle. Okay. And then I glued the flower down and glued that flower on top. Easy peasy. Over here. It doesn't look that bad, but I should have I just came in like this much and that was it. I went way too far in, but it works. And then I put a piece of lace up here. Okay. So there's a there's a spread of the whole thing on the inside of the journal cover. And I just put that there to show you. You can fit big things here on the back of the butterfly wing sticking up. I colored it with a yellow marker. There. It was sticking up. I just put burlap up there and then I put the word blissful and went around it with a green marker and put a butterfly there. Okay, and I think it blends in well. Then I put that big pocket there. There's lace. And this is the one I went around with. I think it's forest green. It's really dark green. Okay, so there's that one. I love them. I think they look awesome. <laughs> I really do. And then we have this one. This one, I just did another different kind of lace. Flipped it over to that side and over here. Tried not to cover the flower too much. And then that's from the sewing in a pocket on the other side. Here. That's from sewing in on the other side, and then our butterfly went around that with a purple marker. Here's the spread of the inside. I wanted to keep adding stuff, but the video is already too long, so <laughs> I have to stop. Here's our belly band, and then this is a huge, huge pocket. You can fit all kinds of stuff in here, big things. Okay, that's where I stitched it, that you seen on the other side. And then the top where I stitched it, and then you can see the butterfly wing, so I just made sure I did marker on it. The other side, so when you flip it, it wouldn't be plain white. And I forgot to cut this off, lace, but that's okay. Then we around this with purple I already showed you. Close up with that print. 
this cardstock print that it goes with. But I think it looks fine overall. And then the back. Put a pocket up there, one round it with purple. And then I sewed around this one. And I also went around this one with white paint. Then I sewed around it with it's a deep, it's a really dark blue stitching. I, I, I wanted it to be white, but my sewing machine just didn't want to do the white one I had on top. But I think it makes it stand out, having it a little darker. Okay, beautiful beings, I hope you got a bunch of ideas and you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.